Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. This week's toy review is of the Star Wars Rogue One Krennic figure. Uh, Krennic here is part of the three quarter inch line of the Star Wars Rogue One action figures that came out back on Force Friday. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Okay, so first off, as you see, we'll go ahead and go over sculpt and paint. Um, I really enjoy that the fat, look at the hair on this guy. The hair on this guy is pretty cool. It's got a nice little like two-tone gray in here. Uh, nice some airbrush. Um, I do have um, a little complaint some paint smudge here, but I mean it kind of mixes with the hair, so that's all right. Uh, the face sculpt on this guy is really cool, uh, and of course he has his white uniform here, which clearly has his badges. Got some nice other little metal it's supposed to hold on his tunic here, I believe. <laughs> of course, we have his belt. Uh, we have these nice little shade of gray pants and the nice shiny black boots. Uh, his arms have that same matching white tone with the black shiny to it with the boots. The belt also has its shine. Got a little, nice little silver buckle here. Turn him around. You can see that he does have his cape flowing. But look at the details on the cape. We have creases on the cape like it's, you know, folded and whatnot. And it's a nice pliable cape too. Like it's really soft. You know, it's not going to hinder anything. This is kind of the material I wish the uh, belt was used for on the Ad Act driver that I reviewed last week. So, and the cool thing is the cape is removable. Just literally kind of just almost clips on almost. And then just kind of hangs there on his shoulders. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and take this off. And we'll go over our articulation. Now with the cape on, of course, it's going to hinder some articulation. Uh, but not too bad. So we'll go ahead and put the cape here back on. There we go. So we have the head here, which moves right to left. And it's got a little bit of a ball joint, so it kind of moves up and down a bit. Uh, the arms are, again, not hindered by the cape, so they can move up and down, all the way back. Um, no waist articulation. This is just a five-point articulation that we've come to know with the Star Wars figures, the new ones. Legs do move up and down now. Here's the problem. Same problem I had with the ADAC driver. We have a nice pliable cape, however, does not go down <laughs> to his tunic, his shirt. It does get in the way of some of the articulation. So you're not going to get a full sitting pose out of this guy. So there we go. Now he does come with one accessory here. Well, it comes with two. It comes with extra hand cannon. Um, doesn't really play a part in the figure, so I don't usually review those. Um, but I will review his accessory here, which is in fact, I'm getting there, a, actually two painted pistol. So here we have nice shiny silver here, and then the handle and some up here are all like a dark, I want to say like a, like a dark gray or black. But it's really cool. Nice little blaster that he did use in the movie. Okay. And it does fit in either hand. You just kind of got to work it in there. Now there is a problem I do have with a lot of the new accessories. is It is very soft plastic here. I'll show you here real quick. Very soft plastic. In fact, if you can look closely here, you can see my gun kind of came out warped. Um, so it makes it a little difficult at times to fit in his hand. But you can get it in there with a little bit of work. So 
and he does have a holster on the side of his belt. Again, it's got that nice black shine to it, and it just fits right inside there. And it doesn't come out. You can bang him on his head all you want. He doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really come out that easy. Says me who just knocked his gun out of his holster. <laughs> Basically, if you tip him upside down and shake him, it's not going to come out. So... His money might, but his gun won't. <laughs> and then, again, just put the cape right on his shoulders. And there you go. And I have no problem standing this guy up. So there you have your Star Wars Rogue One Krennic action figure. These guys came out back uh, on Force Friday uh, in November. So they are still available um, in most stores, Walmart, Target. So... Um, and these go really well with your other Star Wars figures. Uh, you can probably use him with your vintage Vader. Maybe if you have the old 97 uh, figures, they go with, well with them. So I know they didn't come out with a uh, Tarkin figure back in the 70s. So maybe he and I substitute. So, all right. Until next time, fellow geeks, happy hunting. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.